What looks the same up here? The colors? Good. What else? Yeah. The shapes. If you were squinty, they look might they look the same, right? Okay, you got red, blue, pink. You got red, blue, pink. This is the same shape as this. These are the same shape as this. What's different? This this has the grid, so I can see that that's a hundred, and that's five tens, fifty, and that's three and three. That's six. This is smooth. This is smooth, but we still have six, right? So let me see if I can show you something that I didn't used to know that was very helpful to me when I saw it because oftentimes when I was in school we took algebra, algebra one, algebra two, we had them separate from what we would call general math or more practical stuff using numbers. And it was kind of a revelation to me when I saw that this is 100, and this is 50, and this is 6, right? But couldn't I write 100 as 10 squared? And couldn't I write 50 as 5 times 10 to the 1? And now we know I could write 6 times 10 to the 0, right? Because 10 to the 0 is 1. 10 to the 1 is 10. 10 to the 2 is 100. I could even put a little 1 right here if I wanted to, okay? So I have 100, 5, tens, and 6 of the units. Everybody see that okay? Most of the time you don't think about that, do you? You just see 156 and you don't think about the fact that this is all based on 10. That's why we use the word decimal because it means base 10, based on 10. Now, this one down here though, how would we write it? If this, if you remember, this piece here smooth is 1 by x, okay? So this would be x to the 1 times how many? 5. And this would be x times x because this is the same size, right? x, x. And what shape is this? x squared. So we could put this as 1 times x squared plus 5 times x to the 1, and we could put 6 times x to the 0, okay? So everything here is based on 10. And if we kept going, what would be the next one? Hundreds and then thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, etc. right? Here would be x to the 1, x to the 2, x to the 3, x to the 4, x to the 5. So now tell me one sentence. I'll start it, you finish it. Algebra is arithmetic in base x. See, arithmetic in the, in the decimal system is base 10, but algebra is base x. And again, we're looking for a generalization because if it's true for x, it's true for any base. You could have 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2. You could have 16. You ever use different bases? Yeah, you do, especially in computers. Okay? So just hold that thought because algebra and base 10 are very similar. And if you start doing problems like this and it gets a little bit too nebulous or confusing to you, just pump a number in there. Just make sure it's the same number. You could put a 10 in here. You could put a 5 in here. Just make sure it's the same base. Okay? So now we're going to start operating more and more in just base x, which is what most people do when they study algebra. So let's say that you have a problem like this. And in the book we have the picture, but I'm, I'm a little limited in my space here how I can do this. See if I can do one more like this though. Let's see if we wanted to add this plus this, and we're going to add it to this. Okay, so what number is this right here? No, what number? What, what is, what's this expression? How would you put this with letters? What's this? x squared plus 2x's plus 4. So we could write that as x squared plus 2x plus 4. How about this one here? What do you have? x squared plus 5x plus, so x squared plus 5x plus 6, okay? Do you remember the poem that we taught you? Kind of a poem. To compare or combine, you must be 
the same kind. And what it means is compare is adding, I'm sorry, comparing is greater than, less than. Combining, though, you have to be the same kind or same place value. So you can only add units to units, x's to x's, x squareds to x squareds. And that's where the colors come in, if you want. Okay? So what's 6 plus 4? 10. What's 5x plus 2x? 7x. 7x. See? 2 plus, we'll sneak him right down here. And what's x squared plus x squared? 2x squared. That's the answer. Can we have 10 in the units place? Yes, because you can't regroup because you don't know how much x is. You don't know how many in each value, so you just leave it. So sometimes you can have 18 out here. 23. Negative 25 doesn't make any difference. Because until you know what x is, you've got to leave that as a whole number out there. Okay? So let's, um, in your book then, if you have negatives, it's the same thing. If you had, I'll just do one more problem for you. x squared minus x minus 4, and we'll have 2x uh, x squared plus 5x plus 6, same thing. Okay, what do we do here? Positive 6, negative 4, what's that? 2. Positive 5x, negative x. 4. 4x. x squared plus x squared. Got it? And you can have negative numbers down here as well. It doesn't make any difference. Okay, now we're going to start not just adding these. I want to multiply some of these. By the way, what do we call these things with that are kind of vague, algebraic things? What's the fancy word? I'll give you the first beginning. Poly polynomial, right. But if it's got three components like x squared and 5x and 6, it's called a trinomial because it's got three things. What do you think it would be if it has two things? Binomial. Binomial. Let's keep going. What if it had one thing? Monomial. Good. Okay. So we're going to show how to multiply binomials. So we're going to build a rectangle that's x plus, eh, let's make it this, x plus 3 times x plus 2. And when you build the rectangle to make the picture fit the numbers, you have to put the up dimension in the first line. So I'm going to build a rectangle that's x plus 2 up. Okay, so that would be like this. Now look at this and make sure you see that. Does this look like it's x plus 2 up? Don't forget, this is our measuring stick. Everything this long is how much? 1. Everything this long is x. So if we measure this, how far from here to here? x plus 2, right? Okay, now we're going to put this way, and now we have how far from there to there? x plus 3, x plus 2. Oh, that's what the problem is, right? Okay. So we're going to multiply. Now, I'll teach you later how to multiply sideways or horizontally in one line. 